And coming up next on the TTA Show Music Hour, we announce this week's number one. Can Justin Timberlake hold on to the number one spot for a fifth week in a row? We'll find out after the break. Hello and welcome to the Travel Guide. Now are you ready for some armchair travel? Well it could be a lot more than that because you could be the winner of today's holiday competition. The £14.8 billion rail project has already added 30% value to properties along its route. We talked to Andrew Walsensheim, Chief Executive for Crossrail, to find out why this is and the possible downsides. We talk to experts who both support and are against airport expansion, as well as to locals who will be directly affected. A group of ex-British Airways employees have worked tirelessly for the past 30 years and raised over one and a half million pounds in the process to provide for this worthy cause. The chairman, Graham Holder, who was already in his 90s, is still raising funds and up until recently was the sole operator of their charity shop. We speak to him to see why Happy Child is so close to his heart and how people can get involved. Give us a call on 0800 222 333. Calls cost no more than 25 pence and we'll announce the winners at the end of the program. Traffic around London seems to be persistent, so pay cash payments are not the only things that are holding up bus journeys. We get the views from Sadiq Khan, London's new mayor, to see what his views are on cashless buses and what he plans to do to help improve London's bus journeys. If you stick with us after the break, we're going to jump onto our magic carpet, we're going to fly all the way to America mm -hmm. and we're going to meet Wait for it. Mickey and Minnie. No. Oh, and we're going to talk to them about their recent wedding announcement. Can't wait. Hey. So we are going to go and buy our hats ready for this wedding. No, can't wait. See you in three.